Now let's look at exercise order. Now exercise order is the sequence of resistance exercises performed during one training session. Uh, so typically you start out with power, other core, then assistance exercise. So your power exercises, they should be performed first in training, typically because they're going to be more technical and they're going to use more inter and intramuscular coordination. So they need to be done whenever they're fresh. After that, you follow it up with other non-power core exercises. The sequencing isn't quite as demanding for those. So we would do the snatch first and then the squat second. Then you would follow it up with any of the assistance exercises. So we typically go in that order, power, other core, then assistance. Uh, you can look at up, alternating upper and lower body exercises. Uh, and this is pretty popular because the lower body rests when the upper body is working and vice versa. And doing it in this manner allows you to get a little bit more rest for that one uh, body part while you're still increasing the density or the amount of sets that you're doing in the same training session. Now, if the exercises are performed with minimal rest periods, uh, this method is also referred to as circuit training. And so if you're going back and forth with no rest, uh, getting a little conditioning in, that's, that's a form of circuit training. Now, push and pull exercises are often alternated. So uh, this is a, a allowing recovery to improve because it's just simply another method of while one muscle group is working, the other one is resting. So uh, you might do rows and bench presses together, uh, shoulder presses and lat pull downs, tricep extensions, bicep curls. Have those paired up so you get a little bit more rest and again increase that density. Supersets and compound sets. Well, what, what's the difference here? Well, a superset is two sequentially performed exercises that stress two opposing muscles or muscle areas, the agonist and antagonist, just like that push and pull that we went over, the bicep, the curls and tricep pushdowns, uh, shoulder press, lat pull down. Now, a compound set involves sequentially performing two different exercises for the same muscle group. So this would be like bench press and pec flies, okay? barbell curls and concentration curls. Hopefully that, that makes some sense. 